Welcome to Keith's WordPress tutorial where I show you how to embed a Google Calendar into your WordPress website. So go ahead and go to your Google and you're going to look for your settings up here and go down here to the left to find that more button and there's your calendar. So go ahead and click the calendar and if it's the first time you've been in it it's just going to ask you to sign up with your name and um, your time location which is very important. Now one thing you're going, going to want to do is go over here to settings and you're going, going to want to share this calendar. I'm, you know, if My assumption is that you're, you have a business or you're doing this to inform people about what you're doing so when you share the calendar it actually puts it into public um, search options and, and Google will index it which is very nice. So then to actually embed the calendar you you go and you click on the calendar name and you can change all your settings here so this is for rendezvous beer bar and you can go and change the color and size and all kinds of things like that, that you can play around with um, I don't particularly care to show you that part so what I do want you to look at is here is your HTML code so go and copy that um, and that should be all we need from there for now we're going to go into your WordPress website and I'm already logged in I assume you know how to do that and I want this to be a page so I'm going to open up the page start a new one in a new tab. It's just easier that way for me. And I go over here and make sure it's on HTML view and I paste it. And I know this website is not made to accommodate 600 pixels wide so you're going to want to change the width and the height to fit your your site parameters. And we're just going to publish that. I'm going to go look at the site. And yes, that is a giant beer in the background of the website. Uh, looks like it's a little bit too big, so we're going to go back in here and make it 500 pixels. There you go. So now there's a calendar um, in his website. And here's another really neat trick so that when you want to edit your calendar, um, you don't have to actually log in. Oops, we want to save the changes. This way you don't have to actually log into the calendar to go through Google and take all the extra steps. Just go up here, copy your HTML, your URL link, go back to this page, and in here you're going to want to put, actually we'll put it down here. This is a really nice option if you have employees or if there's going to be multiple people using this. If you yourself are using it, you might not want to make it bold or, or really obvious. However, what this does do for you is gives you an easy way for you to log into your Google Calendar and add things without going through all kinds of hassle. So. That is the end of my tutorial that shows you how to integrate a Google Calendar into your WordPress website. I hope you have a wonderful day.